Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Pride Month. Have you noticed? Not so much this year. And if you really think about it, it was the whole fiasco with Bud Light and Dylan Mulvaney that really kind of killed it. Really kind of killed it this year. It's not being crammed down our throats as much as it has been in recent years by the media, by celebrities, pandering celebrities, pandering politicians, uh, advertisements and advertising trying to pretend to care because again, I'll, I will tell you, sorry sweetheart, they don't love you. They do not care about any of these things that they pretend to be activists for or try to pretend to represent, these companies don't care. It hasn't been pushed as hard, I don't believe, by the government sector, most prominently public schools. Remember, the public school is an arm of the government, okay? It's not getting shoved as hard. As a matter of fact, a lot of them have been quietly backing off. We've seen Xbox do it. Xbox, uh, they just switched the logo back a couple of days ago. Didn't even say anything. They got rid of the rainbow Lego logo and went back to their little flame Xbox logo. MLB, Major League Baseball, did it. They had their pride flag logo all ready to go. And it was up for a few days and then it just went back. They were like, no, wait a minute. Let's just take a step back here, especially after the whole fiasco with the Dodgers and those, uh, what are the sisters of perpetual sin? No, yeah, <laughs> perpetual sin. indulgence. I think is what yeah. it's supposed to be. But yes, it is sin. Sisters of, per, uh, of perpetual indulgence that they rejected, which they absolutely should have, because these guys are really, really disgusting. Yeah, but then they went back and re-invited them. Yeah, that was the problem. Th yeah, but th that was a mistake. But MLB as a whole backed mm -hmm. off after that whole incident because that was getting a lot of backlash once people realized who and what they actually were. So Bud Light really kind of jumped it off. Bud Light started it and the boycott, which I believe is now up to about 16 billion in losses hmm. for, or it looks that way. And it probably will turn out to be much worse after their next quarterly report because you know there's a way to play with those numbers. And I alluded to that in a short that I did uh, the very last short that I did, actually, I alluded to that a little bit, and I can discuss that further if anybody's curious about how that works. But they really s sort of started a trend by which people finally got that last straw, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back, mm -hmm. and, put, and drew a line and said, okay, that's enough. This is enough. This doesn't apply to most of us. Most of us don't like this. We don't want to see it. We don't care. You think they would have learned their lesson with Chick-fil-A? Uh, like, what was that, 10 plus years ago? Something? Mm -hmm. uh, 10, 11 years ago with Chick-fil-A where they um, they had the Wednesday where everybody came out to support them on Wednesday because mm -hmm. of the stance they took with the uh, LGB agenda and were overwhelmed. All of their stores were completely, or restaurants were totally overwhelmed with crowds and crowds of people lines around the block and then they tried to do a reversal of it from the gay community have a gay kiss at chick-fil-a which completely flopped nobody turned up for this because nobody supports it even their own community didn't support it they don't care the uh, the other big one of course is uh, target with their tuck mm -hmm. bathing suits and stuff but target's been on board with that stuff for a long time the transgender they got in a lot of trouble with the trans bathroom thing and people boycotted them then but then backed off they forgot you know mm -hmm. time is fleeting people forget they uh, and they go back to their old habits their old ways and they're being hit again and it's hurting them bad apparently the Currently, the boycott is hurting the bad. And so first they retreated into the store with the displays, stopped advertising, and now uh, my understanding is they've completely removed those displays from the majority of their stores. They even got bomb threats in three states, <laughs> which is BS. Yeah. Uh, I, I, when I worked for Bradley's, we used to get bomb threats, and nobody cared because they were like, all right, we got another one. We're gonna have to evacuate the store, let's go because that's protocol 
just in case, but uh, like one in a million it'll actually happen. Anyways, that's how bad it's gotten. People are really sick and tired of it, but the whole, and you, actually I'm kind of thankful now that uh, Bud Light made that mistake and tried to bring uh, Dylan Mulvaney in for a target audience that probably doesn't even drink their beer, that doesn't support them, that other people don't support. I'm tired of the media telling everyone what they think, feel, and believe because that's really what it's about. Oh, it's, well, we're all one big happy family and no, no, we're not. It doesn't work that way, but they really sort of jumped off the killing of the so-called Pride Month, which is Bill Clinton's fault, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Why do we need a month to support um, Seeing. somebody's claim on sexual identity, which is a type of idolatry? If you're putting that sexual identity ahead of everything else, it's idolatry. You, know, you see a minister or a priest wearing a rainbow sash, what is really more important to that minister or priest? Their sexual identity or their accolades from the sexual identity of a of certain class of people or the God they claim to worship. It is idolatry, I'm sorry. Why do you think they call it pride? Because pride is a sin. Because pride comes before the fall. Yeah, pride comes before the fall and we are falling. And I don't know if anyone else ever noticed that in anywhere in the Bible you see someone refer to themselves as we, us, they. It's a demon. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> So, <laughs> but um, the thing I want to just stress: don't get relaxed. Don't yes. see a ray of hope That's and right. think, "Oh man, we've done it. We won." No, no, you didn't win. Now is the time to fight harder mm -hmm. because that's what they want you to do. They've already taken over the school. The school has been lost. And those kids every, are so confused. Yeah, it is every, frightening. Every kid that goes to, to, to public school has been lost to the demonic system. And um, that's just the, the bare truth. And the only way that you can save your kid is to take them out. Make sacrifices where you can and take them out. If you can't do a full-on debriefing when you when you get them kids that's back your home. last resort and yeah. you know, homeschooling first private schooling second and there's a lot of resources for homeschooling please look it up in your area yeah. you've got the computer sitting right and, there and and i know in the area we live in because i looked it up they have homeschooling groups yeah and in this area it's fifty dollars a month and you send your kids, they all get together in this one location and they tell you on this day, this time, these are the classes that we're teaching. Yeah. I mean, you can even do that. Just something. But again, everybody can't and I totally understand if it. You if you have no can. other options, yeah. you've got to sit there at the, at the dinner table and just pick apart everything that happened in school and deprogram it. Daily, yeah. daily, daily. You got to do it in. daily, yeah. and on the weekends do like super sessions. But really, get that stuff out of your kids. And head. that's really part of the problem, and how the public school has been able to indoctrinate so much youth in the first place, is because there is no communication at home. Uh, just way too many families. They don't know each other at all. The kids, parents don't know each other. They're like basically glorified roommates. Yeah, and then we have like the gay community and the transvestite community talking about how um, they, we need a state of emergency because how they're being targeted. And I mean, I'm telling you, we do not live in a civil rights age. We do not live in Nazi Germany, where in Nazi Germany, your neighbors would turn you in and the, um, and the police would come and drag you out of your house. And you were that never is, seen again. Right. Yeah. In the South, during the Civil Rights Movement, they were coming and burning crosses in your yard and dragging blacks out of their house and literally lynching them. That is not happening yeah. anywhere with these people. And, and any examples where I have seen of, and this, is, this ties in with some of the interviews that I did, this is why the Boston Phoenix was doing the interviews in the first place. The interviews were never, the, the data was never published in the paper because they were doing the interviews because people in the gay community were being attacked 
by mm -hmm. groups of people and it turns out it was other gay men that were doing it they yeah. thought it was uh, either uh, frat boys from either Boston College or Boston University because that's what was being reported turns out it was other members of the gay community that were uh, sort of normalized homosexual men that is you wouldn't tell if you looked at them mm -hmm. and they for some reason I, I can imagine really despised the super flamboyant ones and a group of them decided to target them and that's what the truth ended up being and they were like no we're not publishing that yeah so but I mean yeah, that's the only example I've ever I've ever come across of um, a group of people targeting a gay person and hurting them but I mean you have these um these lying um, uh, actors like that one oh, woman yeah. that swears she's a man now that says she was going into a store and somebody came and, and spewed. I am going to gay bash you, quote. Who, I, who, I saw that. Who uses those terms? Yeah, I know. I mean, so there, there, there are lies or out there. Or that other guy who, it turned out the person he, who attacked him, he hired them. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, there are lies out there that's going but we got to stay di diligent. You can't ease up. You can't say, oh, okay, it's over now. We mm -hmm. won. No, it's just beginning. They're, they're, they're retreating so that they can regroup. They saw what they can talk, what um, society can tolerate. Yeah. Just like when we got um, in 2020, that whole thing was to see what society would tolerate, and yeah. we tolerated a, a lot. lot. Way too much. We gave up all. We gave up all our rights, and yeah. now they did this. Let's see how much um, people are tolerate. Okay, okay, let's back up. They're not tolerating. Let's go back and regroup. But they don't really care because again. They've already gotten your kids. Yeah. They're in the schools. You've got to come up with a plan to um, hopefully get your kids out or do like a debriefing. I mean, like Nazi brainwashing to get that stuff out of your kids' heads. <laughs> because it head. is brainwashing. It is. Yeah. But you've got to get that stuff out of your kids' heads. Remember, it's not a victory because a battle is not the war. No. They in there for the long game, and they know most Americans will not last the long game. That's why we didn't have that trucker um, convoy. Yep. No Americans gonna be sitting it up died. for that. Like in Canada, they were up there for months. Yeah. Americans ain't like that. Don't Until have they got time. hit in the wallet, which should tell you something. Yeah. 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 And I mean, you know, you got Florida standing their ground, and that's another clue. As soon as they said you, the gay pride parade can't have kids, they they got upset. Oh, yeah. we don't want to have our gay pride parade. They don't even do it now. But like they're denying people something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, denying access to your kids. Have you ever seen one of those parades, people? Honestly, it's pretty, it's like watching a porno. It's, it's pretty it's disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. I've never seen one. I don't want to. But, yeah. you know, but yeah, it's good what's going on. It's good that it's being backed up. Um, but... You can't slow down, you can't relax, you can't take a breath. Also, this will lend to uh, normalizing some of the other factions. Remember the LGB plus, uh, what, they, what they call it, the Alphabet Mafia, mm -hmm. those are activists, not the individual groups. The individual groups do not like each other and do not get along, so now, the focus is being put primarily into the uh, trans group, like the Dillo Mulvaney types, or mm -hmm. he, I don't believe he really is. I think it's a, an act. Yeah, it is an act it's for money. Act. But then these other groups will say, see, it's just them. We're normal. Mm -hmm. And some people will accept that. And I, and I've, you know, paraphrasing here from, um, oh God, what is his name? Paraphrasing from uh, Malcolm X mm -hmm. about the knife. Don't yeah. stab me in the back nine inches and pull it out three and tell me it's progress. Yeah. I, I think that's how it yeah, goes. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. And that, that's what this could end up being because people will get crushed and then when they get a little bit back, we're going to take 100% of this and we'll give you back 60. 
Yeah, just and then you still lost that 40 permanently, most likely. Yeah, just think about the TSA. When you used to, before yeah. September 11, you used to just mosey on in the airport, sit at the gate with your loved ones, yeah. wait at the gate until your loved ones come. Now they got all these checkpoints, you got to take your belt off, and if you want to bypass it, you have to pay. You pay. They'll, they'll let you bypass yeah. it if you pay. If you pay. The, and show me how many terrorists they've stopped. And mm -hmm. not only that, but the ones that got through with those box cutters, the metal detectors weren't on, if I remember correctly. They, were, they weren't doing their normal protocol anyway. Mm -hmm. So that, that's how they were caught. So if they just did the job right in the first place, it wouldn't happen. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And people hated the TSA and still do. You didn't protest it when you had the chance. No, you didn't, you didn't fight stop it. flying. You didn't fight it if you because people had to get on that flight. Mm -hmm. um, if you even picked one day a week, and said, and if enough people cooperated, okay, on Wednesdays we're not going to fly, and it hit the airlines hard enough, they would have forced the government to get the TSA out of there. Yeah. But people don't know how to protest. And they're never taking away that TSA. No, probably not. And it only happens in America. And all they do is steal stuff from your luggage. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them. And I tell I you, you can't take in. I won't throw that on everybody. Yeah. You can't but, take baby milk, eye wash. Mm -hmm. You can't bring in food yeah. like you used to. Yeah. But yeah, and that that's a whole other story. But hey, thoughts, guys. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope that you did. Share it if you can. Probably the only way it will get seen. My channels are very oppressed by the powers that be. If you are new to the channel and you saw random images of cats and dogs. They are strays that my wife and I take care of and images of them in the video actually help with the loading algorithm, believe it or not. If you'd like to help the channel out, or the strays for that matter, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps and we sure do appreciate it. And if that's it, then what more can I say but stay tuned folks, because there is more to come.